Okay guys, this is gonna be a really, really uncut clip of how risky are penny stocks. Yo, yo. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfer. Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. Sipping on Ciroc, trip them up with the words. I just bought the Molly and I think it's be my third. Um, I have never claimed that they're not risky. They do have a little bit of risk with them, of course, Every investment has risk. You're not guaranteed to make money, first of all. Everybody knows that. Um, if you don't, you need to be doing more research. Um, second of all is they are. Everybody talks about low cap stocks and penny stocks. And when I consider a penny stock is you are talking there are ones that literally cost one and two pennies um, and 30 cents and 50 cents and so on and so forth. Um, my really my main concern is when people are talking about you can't make money consistently with penny stocks because um, it's a lie. People have done it time and time again. Um, some people aren't good at it. Um, I'll be bluntly honest with it. I've got students where I've had to tell them like you know my strategy. They're just not great at trading penny stocks. Maybe they need to go trade a higher cap stock and trade options with my strategy because you can use my strategy towards options and they become extremely successful then. Um, but that's besides the point. There are risk with penny stocks. I never claim that there's not risk with penny stocks. First of all, that's like my biggest thing. Um, there's risk with any investment ever. Just like buying a house, you're risking that the market value is at the top of it, especially right now in this market. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But with that being said, penny stocks are risky. So are ETFs. So are high cap, so are low cap. Just like trading with Apple, if you bought a share of Apple, you don't know how much you're gonna make or lose, technically. Now, you can have a game plan and put a strategy towards it that helps your odds tremendously and knowing what you're doing helps rather than going in blindly and swinging for the fence. I don't recommend swinging for the fence ever. I've said this time and time again, I recommend taking singles every time. Um, singles are way more profitable and it's way better to be can Nobody's going to make 100% on a stock all the time. Is it possible to make 100% with a penny stock? Yes. Or 1,000%? I've seen it done a few times. Yes. Now, the difference is is being consistently good at it. Making that 5 and 6 and 7% all day long is way better a day than making 1,000% one time and then losing 5, 6, and 7% on a daily average because it's going to go the opposite way and you're going to lose money. Now, don't get me wrong. Those thousand percent days are awesome. I don't know if I've technically ever had a thousand percent day, but I've had really high percentage. I mean, I've had a 50%, I've had a hundred percent gain before, for, and I was very, very thankful. But it was, it's not like I make that every single day. And a lot of people um, come at people with, you're a liar, blah, 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 a hundred different excuses when they don't take the time to learn the strategy on how people are actually making the money. Um, when it comes down to actually knowing what you're doing is the biggest difference. Just like my strategy, for instance, you can take my strategy, go play a high cap, go play an ETF. I personally am horrible at overnight plays. I admit to that. I'm admitting to it again here on camera. <coughs> I admit that I have a cold right now that won't go away since I moved. But at the same time, you guys got to be able to realize being able to trade a higher cap stock you can get those accounts that make a huge... So, for instance, say you have a $500,000 account. Am I going to suggest you to play penny stocks every day? No. You have enough capital. You might as well take that money and go play a higher cap stock or a higher price stock. Play the major markets at that point because you can day trade those and make exponentially more and be able to leverage more into it. I'm not saying leverage your account. If you have $500,000, I'm never going to say use more than $500,000 on a trade, first of all. And $500,000 in a trade is a lot of money. Now, I know there are trades bigger than that, of course. That's besides the point. But even say... Uh, 75 or a hundred thousand dollar account guys I'm never gonna say leverage your whole account into one position and try to trade it now when you're beginning I do understand going all in I went all in a couple times when I was just starting out because that was the only way for me to make some money and I completely understand that but I knew the money I didn't need it to live on as well I've already created that account to where 
I didn't care if I blew it up. And have I blown up accounts? Yes, I admit to that. My very first account was $300 on Robinhood when I first started and I blew it up. And I, yes, I was playing lower priced stocks, but I had no idea what I was doing, guys. I, it didn't make sense to me. I just knew people were making money and I wanted to make money. I didn't do my research. I was going in blindly. And then even then when I did a little bit of research, I still wasn't able to make enough money uh, or I was hitting home runs and then not hitting the singles and doubles and taking profits because I see everybody else making these huge profits. And what really helped me was setting goals, getting down to learning the right way to do things, not listening to every single person that's in a chat room, guys. It's a horrible idea. Doing your own due diligence and making sure you have a plan. Not, you don't always have to plan out every single trade. Is it a, Your odds go up when you do plan out trades. I will admit to that. But at the same time, you do not have to actually do absolutely everything, say, to the cent, basically. So if your plan was to buy in at, say, $1.50 and it hits $1.52, maybe that was your chance to buy in. So you don't have to have it hit that exact, exact number. Planning out is a huge portion of it until you get to that point where... For instance, I am where, yes, I do plan out trades a lot of the times, but at the same time, I can be watching the market during the day and be able to look at it and go, this is going down, I'm going to short it, or I'm going to buy a put if your option's trading, and so on and so forth. Kona, no. Sorry, my dog. Um, but being able to look at it, but that comes with experience and watching it every day and knowing what's going on, what the news is happening, how things react to certain things and support and resistance, being able to find out on the dime why it had trouble last time, where it had trouble last time getting over the hump, where it bounced last time, where the trend is, all these things go into it in order to make a good trade. But yeah, the more you do things, the more you're going to realize, oh, you can analyze it rather quickly now. When you first start, I always recommend paper trading. That is part of my system, guys, is paper trading, knowing what you're doing before, being consistent paper trading, and then going over to live money. Now, I also recommend starting with a very, very little, <coughs> with a very, very little amount when trading at first because, again, you're not used to that live money. When it comes down to money, people panic. Even if in your mind that money's gone and you don't ever need that money for anything else in this world, but at the same time, when you have, say, a $100 account and you lose $5, instinctively your body's going to go, oh crap, I lost $5. But that's not... Your body gets used to... Maybe you got some blood flowing at that point in time when you get in the stocks. Um, I know every now and then when I take a trade, I get my blood flowing. Um, I'm amped up. Um, but at the same time, I know how to calm myself down. I know how to take advantage of what I need to do in the market every day in order to win. Now, again, it's back to do I win every trade? No, I do not win every trade. I don't claim to win every trade. If you find somebody that claims to win every trade, please ask for every broker statement ever because I guarantee you they've lost money. Um, it just doesn't happen. Now, people can be profitable just about every day. Um, I'm a great example of that. I may take a losing trade first thing in the morning. I've talked about this before. And then make it back up. There's multiple people that do that, guys. There's a ton of people that actually do that. Um, but it's harder to do that. It's easier to do that once you're over that PDT rule. I help people get over that PDT rule. I help people get around the PDT rule. It's all about your delivery and what you're doing consistently. Now, if you're not studying, you're not caring, you're not keeping up on news, and I'm not saying watching CNBC every night, but just knowing where the market's at, being able to look at the major market makers and knowing what's going on, what direction the market's going, if you're not doing those little things that add up to big things and knowing your knowledge on where to go, then you're going to struggle a lot more than somebody that is doing those little things. Um, there are a few people out there that just have the knack for it. They don't have to look at other things. They just instantly know they can trade and they can make money. Now, those people still aren't 100% accurate, but at the same time, there's, those are usually really, really smart people. And I like smart people. Don't get me wrong. I try to surround myself with as many smart people as I can. But guys... Teaching students, I love teaching students. I love seeing the success stories. No, not every single trade is going to be 5 and 7%, guys. I'm saying average, 
out at five to seven percent is what my students usually do average after going completely through my system now that's not buying my system and then going to something else and then going over and just instantly trying to trade those people that do that you usually do lose more before they actually start winning and guys i absolutely love helping people i have for the past two three years um, as soon as I got the hang of it, I had people asking me how am I doing this and I was more than happy to help people. Now, you guys got to realize I don't make a ton of money helping you guys. Um, I asked $250 one time fee. I'm going to cut this part out of the clip. But anyways, guys, penny stocks can be very, very risky. I've never said that they aren't risky when it comes down to it, but it's knowing how to do things. how. Taking knowing the strategy because maybe you don't want to trade penny stocks, but at the same time, maybe you want to play $10 stocks every day or $20 stocks every day or mid caps or high cap stocks, or maybe you just want to day trade the major indexes. That's 100% fine, but you got to know the strategy and what's going into it, how we're making money doing it every day or most of the time and being able to do it consistently. I'm not saying you have to, those people that buy penny stocks, just like I buy penny stocks on a daily basis, not necessarily penny stocks, but anything between 50 cents to $10, and I trade them, I day trade them. But I'm not saying I see a ton of value in these stocks, because I don't. A lot of them are crap companies, and that's when it comes down, you hear a lot of the pump and dumps. So, And I'm confronting this right out in front of people, so this is all free information. Um, but what you can do is be able to see the patterns form and take advantage of the volume and the spike in the volatility. Volatility, everybody says it's bad a lot of the times. That's not true. Volatility allows you to be able to take advantage. So if you can find support and resistance, know how to use it and make money and use it to your advantage. So I'm not saying that there is some perfect system to this to win every trade there's never going to be a way to win every single trade there can be good news happen there can be bad news happen at any given time i mean somebody can drop a nuke on the united states at any point in time and the market goes up or down depending on what's happening usually wars are good for the economy um but with that being said guys you just have to be able to find what works for you try multiple things maybe try day trading spy try day trading the dow jones average try trading apple i mean all those different things that you can do to better yourself and try not saying that penny stocks are made for you but being able to grow a small account i can show you multiple ways to grow a small account i've done it multiple ways um, i help people every day with all sorts of different situations um, if you guys have any questions, comment on below. You can DM me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter now. I just got Twitter. Um, but let me know how I can help you. I do plan on doing more of these videos here on YouTube where I just sit down. I don't have to show you on my computer, but I can just make sense of things for you guys. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys here real soon. What is up, guys? I just wanted to thank you for watching this video if you guys have made it this far remember i have a free course down below you guys can go to it, it doesn't cost anything you just go into it watch it enjoy it learn some of the basics and enjoy your sunday or whatever time you're watching this guys i hope everything has helped you guys out and i look forward to working with each and every single one of you if you give me the chance again i do work with you guys personally so with that being said guys thank you and i look forward to having you guys watch my videos in the future